What's good, everybody? It's your boy, back at it again. Back on the camera, back with the microphone. You know, just, just better quality back in general. If you didn't know, by the title of this video and with the boxes that I have right here, today we're going to be installing uh, my new steering wheel setup. So I have the steering wheel by Sparco, and I have the short hub and the quick release by NRG. I'm gonna be doing a quick unboxing just to show you guys what comes in these boxes and the pieces that we have to use. So we're gonna start off with the short hub, straight off the box. Um, the short hub is right here. Some instructions, an NRG sticker, some shout outs, and obviously the wiring. So we'll get to that once we get to the actual steering wheel. Next up, we have the NRG quick release. So it is the generation three. Uh, the generation two is basically just this circle part, but the generation three, they added these like wannabe paddle shifters. Um, but overall, I mean, I like the generation three. It was a hard decision actually. I was like, do I want to be subtle with generation two or do I want to you know, pop out with the red uh, with Generation 3. So I got the Generation 3, it comes, I don't know if you can see that. Some more wiring on the inside. Have a little Allen wrench they give you. Do not know what this is, but it's here. Whatever this stuff is, another sticker, some instructions. We'll definitely be uh, checking these out. And some more shout outs, shout out energy lastly we have the steering wheel by sparko shout out to sparko so straight out the box and this is the steering wheel i got it in suede it's the l575 series suede with the red leather and the red sparko logo right there so just some nice red accents to go with our red quick release should be a good steering wheel setup now let's jump to the car oh can't forget these it also came with Sparco badging for the horn. So first off, I just wanted to say it's hella humid in Hawaii right now, but we're still gonna do this. Anytime you're dealing with airbags or your steering wheel in general, uh, or anything electrical, you always wanna disconnect your battery. So first things first, disconnect your battery. How to take apart your steering wheel, there's gonna be two clips on each side that contains a tamper-proof uh, bolt. You're gonna need one of these cool little tamper-proof sets. They're basically special heads for uh, tamper-proof bolts. So I have one of these. Once you take those two tamper-proof uh, screws out, I think, uh, yep, your airbag should just fall right out. Even though you disconnected your battery, you always just wanna be careful uh, when handling this thing. So, man, it's really hot. But all you're gonna wanna do is grab a flathead or just something flat in general. And you're gonna wanna disconnect these two power sources just by simply unclipping them. Once you've removed the airbag, there's gonna be a nut right here. It's a 19 millimeter. So you just wanna grab your impact and go ahead and take that out. So what I would recommend doing is once it's out, put it back on just a little bit. When you pull your steering wheel, it won't just like hit you in the face. You know, it has something to stop. Once you take off the 19 millimeters uh, nut, your steering wheel should come off with nothing but the main connector left that's connected. So that's basically it for removing your stock steering wheel. Now we're gonna actually start installing our new stuff. All right, so I'm back with my cruise control. Uh, I just took it off my OEM steering wheel to save the cruise control for the arc features. I hardwired all the wires necessary to the new uh, NRG harness that they sent us. Um, I didn't record that because honestly, I don't think I can explain it good enough. But if you wanna know how to save your cruise control, uh, you can go check out Siege Styles video uh, on YouTube. That's who I watch to save my cruise control. So yeah, just type in Siege Style and his video should pop up. We're back now to put all our aftermarket pieces on. 
um, starting with the NRG short hub. First things first, we're going to want to connect the harness uh, with our cruise control. And then to put our short hub on, we're going to want to take these three wires, the two airbag wires and our little ground connector and feed them through the back of the short hub. So there's a little opening um, with the NRG short hubs in the back to feed wires. So that's good. Now once you've fed the wires through, what you're going to do is line up this line with the little hole that comes on the NRG uh, short hub. It's, it's at the very top uh, if, you're on, if you're center, right underneath this hole. So there's a little tiny hole right there and you're just going to line that with the line. And also with this rubber piece on the back, there's an opening specifically for this rubber piece. Uh, you want to make sure that fits in there snug as well. We're going to leave our cruise control on the outside though so that we can wrap it around. Um, it shouldn't pinch it or anything. So your short hub should be pretty snug and tight on there because of that rubber thing. Um, and the lines, like I said, should line up. And this is okay, it's not pinched. All we're gonna do once everything's on is we're just gonna wrap it around, and have it kinda stick right there with some double-sided tape. We'll figure that out later. Once you have your NRG short hub lined up, uh, and all the wires are where you want them to be, then you could proceed with putting the nut back on. Once your short hub is officially bolted on, we're gonna deal with the airbag sensors next. Um, in the NRG box, they came with these two little wires. So really what we're gonna do is on the back of each airbag wire, there's two holes, um, and we're gonna plug in the prongs into each hole for both wires. I believe this is to trick the airbag system and make it seem like there's one in there. That way we don't have a light. Uh, I'm not too sure, but we'll find out in the end if there's a light or not. I just know that that's what these wires are for. Once they're connected, you can go ahead and shove them in here kind of nice and neat just to get them out the way. Once you have the wires tucked in, you're gonna wanna take your energy quick release base. So the base of your quick release that stays on the steering wheel. Um, and one of these little metal ground things. Uh, on the back of the quick release, there's a, a yellow wire, it's a male connector, and then there's a black wire that plugs into the metal ground thing. So it looks like this it has a little stick right there that you can plug in the black wire from your NRG uh, quick release base. And with the yellow wire, you're gonna get the black wire that was left on your short hub and connect the yellow wire into that one. So we're gonna go ahead and do that really quick. All we're gonna do now is line up the metal ground thing to the short hub, like so. You wanna make sure to have all the holes exposed that was on the short hub and make sure to remember which uh, hole had the little tiny hole right underneath because on your quick release, uh, on the base of your quick release, there's another little tiny hole. So on mine, it's right above the NRG logo. So you're gonna to wanna to line those little tiny holes up. So it's gonna look kinda of like so. We're gonna take our screws that came in the box and we're just gonna start hand feeding them in there because it is gonna be a little bit tough at first. There's a lot of wires behind all this and it's trying to push it out. So you just wanna make sure that it gets tucked back in there nicely and that nothing gets pinched. All right, so we're definitely losing daylight, but now that we have our base of the quick release connected, we can take our uh, actual quick release and go ahead and put it on there. Once you have it screwed in nice and tight, all that's left is plugging in your horn um, on the quick release. 
they provide you with a male and a female connector, but on the Sparkle horn itself, it only has two uh, male connectors. So what we're going to have to do is to get male and male connected, we're just going to place them on top of each other and basically wrap electrical tape around it just for the meantime. Uh, since we don't have a female connector provided. Kind of like so, pretty janky right now, but you know, it's just for the meantime, since I don't have a female connector. And with our other female connector, we're just gonna plug it in, kinda like so. The wires are really short, so I can't flip it over to show you. But yeah, you just wanna make sure to do that. Push the wires in the back and clip it in. And everything is officially installed. The only way to make it really official is by putting the Sparco badge onto the horn itself. Uh, it's just sticky tape that they provide, so we're gonna do that. And we're gonna connect the battery, that way I can test the horn, make sure it works, and we're officially done with this install. Just gonna apply pressure so that way it sticks. So as you can see, the horn works. Um, nothing's wrong with it. It actually is very sensitive. You don't even have to apply that much pressure, but um, but it works. I've been driving with the new Sparco steering wheel for one week. Um, my thoughts on it, it's really nice. Uh, the Alcantara feels good. It doesn't really get as hot um, if, you're, if it's left out in the sun as leather would. Uh, but it still gets hot so that's pretty much it i'm gonna wrap this video up by doing a quick outro i just want to say thank you guys for watching and all the feedback uh, that i get in the comments if this video helped you with your steering wheel make sure to leave a comment you know give me some feedback you know i, I take all that shit in so really just helps me out leave it a thumbs up share it subscribe you know all that good jazz and uh i have a lot planned for this car so make sure to subscribe and stay tuned and that's it once again thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in the next one